Hey everybody, Ray O'Brien here. Welcome to It's All About the Cocktail. The whole idea here is simple cocktails at home. I'm not going to think of those far off fancy drinks or something you're not going to sure to get the ingredients or if you're ever going to use it again. So I know we're getting kind of close to the Cinco de Mayo and I want to tell you a simple easy tequila cocktail you can make. I mean this is made with 1800 coconut tequila. I mean, it's a tequila you can buy from your, you can get this, I, I saw it at Walmart, in my local Walmart. And you can, you know, my, my local Walmart. Now, I, I was gonna make this last night. I didn't, the limes ahead I rock hard, man. But my wife said, you know, that's it's okay. I got I an order, they had an order where you can pick it up. She goes, I got an order that's ready for pickup tomorrow at seven in the morning. And they're, they're huge limes, man. Look at the size of these babies. Oh, that's not a hard one. Look at the size of these things. They're nice big limes. Anyways, um, this uses 1800 coconut tequila. Now it's a, not a coconut flavored tequila like all those 80, those goofy flavored vodkas. This is an infused tequila. So it's infused with coconuts and it's the first infused tequila out there was released in 2012 and they make it they make the bottle kind of reminiscent of of the you know ancient Mayan ruins in Mexico so 1800 tequila um, if you can't remember if you forget 1800 tequila you can always look for a little little skull guy on there a little and you're only gonna see it on 1800 the skull guy there's the hair sticking up now whatever tequila you're buying always make sure it says on the label, 100% agave, like this does. 100% blue agave. If it's not 100% agave, it's garbage. Throw it out. Throw it out. Don't buy it. Okay. So, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take. We're just gonna take. Now you can use take your shaker, and you can use whatever shaker you have. But Ray, I don't have a shaker, man. Come on, shakers are so easy to come by. I mean, I got a shaker one time at Chili's when I was their presidential. Margarita and say you can keep the shaker, a little plastic thing. That's not where it's at. This I got, I think, from Chata Shaker, one of those gift packs around Christmas time. You know? You can use your two-piece shakers. Your two-piece shakers are good because you got a built-in strainer. You don't gotta have a separate strainer. You can use your mason jar shakers. This one's good because it kind of holds a little bit more more volume if I'm making like a, a few cocktails at once, I can do this. But I happen to like your Boston shaker, which is your two pieces, and you gotta have a supper strainer. I like the Boston shaker because it gives me more, more, and more air in there, more volume, more volume for stuff to move right back and forth. So let's use that. Took our cheater tin aside. Now all you want to do is you want to put two parts of your 1800 coconut tequila in there. Okay, now like I say, I like to throw names on the bottles. You know, everybody likes it. I mean, you're going over somebody else's drink, you bring a bottle with you. And everybody likes it when you bring bottles over, okay? I mean, I suggest if you're going over somebody else, bring yourself a bottle. Now, I, I like to put little names in the bottles. It's not to shame the people that don't bring bottles, because there are a ton of those. But it's more so I can thank the people that did it. Did it. This is from Boris and Urata. Boris and Narata, my Russian friend and his Lithuanian wife. And this one here, I realized I have two of them. I realized Carla brought one over too. So Carla brought me over a bottle. Now Carla and Boris and Narata are some of my staunch supporters. They've been there from the beginning and they do the things that I ask people. I mean, I ask people to watch them, watch the whole video. If it's boring, I mean, don't stop it because they track that stuff. If it's boring, just throw it down. Let it play out till the end. And send me back a comma, man. Send me something, you know. Oh, yeah, a nice bottle, right? Yeah, hey, your hair looks kind of screwed up. It always does. 
Um, but do me a favor, send me back comments over. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know how you like this drink, okay? Now, all you want to do is you want to put, you know, for, first thing, well, <laughs> first thing, what we want to do is we want to take a jalapeno and we want to cut a slice of it off. So let's get some of the stuff out of the way. Let's cut just a small slice of jalapeno. And then we're going to muddle it. We're going to, we're going to throw that in our, in our shaker and muddle that. So you just want to get yourself a slice of jalapeno. Okay, now we're just going to throw that in our, going to throw that in our shaker, and we're going to model it. But Ray, I don't have a modeler. Hey, come, come on, man. Use some sort of ingenuity. Take a, take a spoon. Take something. I don't care. Take a clothespin. Take, do something. Just you mash it. All you do is mash it down. You're just trying to get the juices out. Mash it down there. Some people like to throw ice in ahead of time. I like to throw in at the end because otherwise it dilutes the drink. But uh, throw in your two parts of eighteen or coconut, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna throw three quarters of a of a lime in there. Now this lime I had what I what I do is I like to put them under hot water, run them under hot water, and then I like to roll them back and forth on the table. Let's get some old juice out of it. So. I'm gonna do that down here so I can a little easier on my arm. This way I don't cut my finger off either. You gotta watch that. I don't got much of a finger. I don't want my fingertips are hard to come by. Either. Okay. So we're just gonna half that half that lime in half. Half that lime in half. Throw it in our squeezer. And we just want three quarters of a three quarters of a of an ounce oh it's juicy man I'm gonna get three quarters out of out of one half yeah baby definitely juicy I got just three quarters out of one half okay throw that in our shaker and then we're just simply gonna put one and a half parts of pineapple juice now I have a fresh pineapple here. I gotta hack this thing up and put it in my, I got one of those major squeezers. I mean, cause it can't fit in the hand squeezer. I can, I can try to juice this, you know, but at the same time I thought to myself, well, let's make it easy, it's simple cocktails. So I'm gonna make a simple on you. You're probably not gonna juice a lot, juice a pineapple. So you're probably gonna get something like this and just do it easy. These are, these are good, they're handy. So we're just gonna kind of throw in one and a half parts of our, our pineapple juice. Nice and easy. Put it on the one and a half side. Okay. And then like I say, I like to throw my ice in last because otherwise it dilutes the hell out of the drink. And that's sometimes not, not a good thing. So we're just gonna ice up our glass there. About three quarters of the way up. I got many a many a St. Patrick's Day cups around. I gotta do some babies. Okay, get your cheater tin, throw it on there, and then give it a shake for like 10, 11 seconds. And then try to look cool while you're doing it. Don't make faces. You want to try to shake over your over your shoulders too. I wasn't counting. Was that 11 seconds? It's about 11 seconds. But when your hands starting to get cold, then you kind of know you're done. So grab yourself a strainer. I thought I had it laid out here. Oh, I do. Grab yourself a strainer. And grab you a glass. Now I got a glass in my chiller, staying nice and cold. Okay. Now, something like this, I didn't really prepare a garnish 
you can you can really you can throw a, a slice of jalapeno put it on the edge take yourself a slice of lime put that on the edge that'd, that'd probably look really good but i try to make it nice and simple let's give that a whirl Wow, that is good. And the coconut flavor and the lime kind of balances out the hotness of the jalapenos. You know, but Ray, jalapeno is so hot for me. My wife doesn't like it. My wife doesn't either. So if you want, you can cut some of the seeds out. When you, when you cut the slices, cut some of the seeds out because that's where all the hotness comes from. But I, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool with me. So I suggest you check this out. It's so easy. Two parts of coconut tequila. One and a half parts of pineapple juice. A slice of jalapeno mash up in there. Ice it up and you're done. How simple is that? It's very easy. So this Cinco de Mayo or just by any time of year. In the summertime, these are good. These go down very easy. So I suggest you try one of these out and get back to me and let me know what you think, okay? But always, I want you to always drink responsibly. The whole idea is we're not trying to get total, totally smashed and we don't want to, we definitely don't want to drink and drive. I can tell you about the evils of that. Um, if you want to go to, if you want to go to my, my recovery from a 33 day coma, you understand why I condone drinking in, at home and not having to go out and drink and drive. But I want you to remember, my friends, at the end of the day, it's all about the cocktail. I'll catch you just in time for the next round. I'll see you later.